shoot, forgot to wet my sponge. <laughs> I don't want to have to go do that right now, but this is dirty and I need it. Okay, my friends, settle in, grab a snack, do whatever you need to do. It's Catter Day and I can't be bothered to put on a real bra and a real shirt. So we've got a sports bra and a comfy tee. <laughs> and that's how we're doing today's video. Welcome. So y'all been asking me, okay, crap. Kristen, what kind of brushes do you recommend? And I was like, okay, let me sit down and show you some of my favorites, some face brushes, some eye brushes, what I use on a typical day-to-day -day basis. We're gonna do a little bit of an eye look and I'm basically just gonna do like my everyday makeup. Most of the brushes are from Morphe and Sigma. This is not sponsored. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> I don't have any codes with anybody, nothing like that. Let's just go ahead and get started. Actually pause, let me go clean this dirty little sponge and then we'll be right back. Whew, okay, the sponge is cleansed. Let's do this thing. Let's get this party started. Okay, Ooh, that was a little loud, felt aggressive. My skin was doing so well last week. It is that time of the month where we are going through the hormones. So my skin is kind of breaking out. So we're gonna color correct. And let's be honest, even if my skin wasn't breaking out, I would still color correct because it's just part of my routine. But first, lip gloss. Let's get these little lip bees moisturized. Oh, yeah. Make a lot of sounds, a lot of sound effects over here. So I'm not really gonna focus so much on the products that I'm using, more so the brushes. I will have a video coming soon of like my favorite makeup products and skincare products, so stay tuned for that. But I always like to spread my face first, so we're gonna do that. Just a, little, <coughs> just a nice little um, mist, if you will. That was kind of more of a shower. Sadie, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but she's ripping something up. Hopefully it's her toy and not the sofa. Sadie, are you doing something you're not supposed to be doing? Can't see her, so we don't know. All right, color correction is key. Like I said, this is just my typical routine that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe a little bit extra. So I got these um, color correcting brushes from Real Techniques, and I think I got these at Walmart. They're just rounded. Here's the thing. Listen, I don't know a whole lot about like, oh, this is goat hair, this is real hair, this is synthetic. I don't freaking know. This is just what I use and it works for me and it's what I've been using for a while. So if you're looking for like an educational video on what kind of brushes to use, <laughs> it ain't it, okay? This ain't it. <laughs> okay, boom, boom. Look at that, super simple, super easy. So as far as foundation goes, I always use a sponge. I just like the finish that it gives me. Currently, the one that I'm obsessed with right now is this Morphe Brushes. I think this is the highlight and contour sponge. I don't know. It's pretty much the only sponge they have, I believe. I don't know what it is about this thing, but I absolutely love it. I love that it has this sharp edge right here that you can cut the contour if you want. Um, you can bake with it. You can get right up underneath the eyes. And there's just something about, I don't know. I just love this thing. So this is what I use. So I'll just put my foundation all on my face and then I blended it. Some people will put the foundation directly on the sponge and then go in like that. But I feel like that soaks up a lot of product. So I like to just dot it on my face and then go in that way. I always bring my foundation down my neck. I know some people are into that. That's fine. You do you, girl. My foundation tends to be a little bit darker, as you can tell. So I do like to bring it down so I don't have a face mask. <laughs> it's more of a neck mask. <laughs> What? This is just a No Name Morphe brush, and it's just this rounded dome brush that's super dense, and I just bring it down my neck. Then to finish off the base, I like to go in with this Morphe G6, which is more of a flat top brush. So then if there's certain areas like right over here where there's still like redness or my breakout peeking through, I like to dab a little extra foundation in those areas that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. And then I take this Morphe G6 brush and I just press it into the skin. Whereas with the other Morphe brush, I was more so swiping to distribute the product and here I want more coverage. So I'm just gonna stipple it into the skin. I always blend cream products with a sponge because I just like the finish that it gives. Um, it just looks a lot more natural and I feel like it kind of soaks up any excess product so it doesn't end up looking too cakey. Just gonna go back in with that same sponge and I go in with the other side of it to blend out the contour.
So then before I go in and set my face with anything, I make sure that the concealer that I already blended out has not settled into any of these fine lines. This smile line right here has always given me an issue. It's just like a little crevice in my face that will not go away. And then underneath my eyes, it usually settles there. Sometimes the wrinkles on my forehead, um, my little hooded eyelids. So I like to go back in, make sure it's all blended out before I set anything. And I'll take this little um, Real Techniques brush and just make sure sure it's smooth I mean listen I'm aging it's not gonna be perfect you don't want to set any of your creasing <laughs> defeats the purpose of setting so this is the morphe m438 it's just this tapered brush and it gets underneath your eyes really well so I'm just gonna go in and set my face So I use this brush just for kind of setting smaller, more precise areas. It also depends on what kind of look I'm going for. If I want my skin to be more matte or I want it to be more dewy. If I'm going for a more matte look, I will use this BH Cosmetics brush. This is just number two. That's what it says. It's just this big fluffy brush. It covers a whole lot of real estate, <laughs> aka my forehead. So I'll just go in and do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And then it's all... It's all good, just like that. I have been using this Sonia Kashuk, what is this, number 113 brush. It's just this angled contour brush. I have been using this, oh gosh, I don't know. I wanna say like five, six, seven years at this point. This is one of the first contour brushes I tried and I loved it and I've just kept using it since. It is kind of falling apart and I've noticed that like sometimes when I'm doing my contour, I'll have like little black hairs stuck on my face that like fall out from this. Um, and that's probably just because this is kind of old and I need to open a new one, which I have sitting right over there. But, um, you know, I'm just a creature. What is it? A creature of habit? Habit of creature? No, creature of habit for sure. <laughs> um, so I just keep using the same one, even though I have a new one and I could use it. So now I'm just going to set the cream contour that I did. See? See? what I tell you? Oh, get off my face. Can I make a wish on those or is that just like eyelashes? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Let's make a wish on this one. What do I wish for? More cats. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't really need... Well, no, I always need more cats. Listen, everyone in life needs a cat. That's just my humble opinion. So for my nose contour, I use another one of these No Name Morphe brushes. So this one and this one that I showed you, um, I got them off of Hot Look. It was like a set. Does anyone else still shop on Hot Look? It's been years since I've shopped on there. I don't even know what you would call it. I don't know, a dome brush. I have one of these brushes that I'll use for a cream contour. And then I have this one that I set it with powder. I like to go back in and just kind of blend everything out with the sponge. Ugh, see, these little black hairs, get off me. Let's make another wish. I wish for ice cream. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> and then my favorite blush brush, blush brush. Why does that sound like blush brush, blush brush? blush brush my favorite blush brush that sounds terrible to me it's a tongue twister my favorite blush brush is the sigma powder um, f10 and i've been using this for years so it's just a regular blush brush <laughs> i just cracked myself up i'm gonna go in there do a little mm, love that are you done my favorite part of doing my face is highlighting. And I get this question a lot on my Instagram videos is what highlighting brush are you using? So this is the Morphe M501 and it's just this tapered brush right here. And it just perfectly gets on those little cheeky bones. I grab a little product on the brush. See, it just perfectly gets, ooh, right there. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, don't worry. We're going in with the sponge. We're gonna blend it out. I think that's the key to having your makeup just kind of look seamless is always going back in and blending with a sponge. I don't know. It just makes everything kind of like melt together. And then because I love a blinding highlight, I go in again and just top it off. 
All right, and there you have it. I'm gonna do my brows off camera real quick and then I'll come back and we'll do some eyeshadow and I'll show you some of those brushes. Okay, brows are on and I no longer look like a naked mole rat. Listen, bras make, bras, oh! Well, brows do make a difference, but brows also. <laughs> brows make a difference, they really do. Okay, so let's get into some of these eye brushes. Most of these eye brushes are from either Morphe brushes or Sigma, the majority are from Morphe. And this is what I'm gonna say real quick before we get into using them, is they fray, okay? Look at that, they really do. And I don't know if this is user error because last night when I washed them, it was late and I was tired and I wasn't real careful about placing them, like spacing them out to dry. So that might be a little bit my fault. So they just kind of fray and I don't love it. But again, I use a lot of Morphe brushes because it's just, what I used when I first got into makeup and it's cheap. I don't think there's anything wrong with these brushes. I just don't love that they fray so quickly. If I'm just doing like a typical makeup look, I have about four brushes that I normally go with. So that is the Morphe M441, this Sigma Tapered Blending E25, which is similar. This is just a smaller blending brush that I go in with. This is the Morphe M433. Normally what I'll do is just, I'll start with like a neutral color and I am using the Morphe M441. And this is just a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go in and just start to dust that all in the crease. As you can see, it just gives you a nice soft blend. And with this big fluffy brush, you can even start to drag the color underneath the eye just to give you a little bit of a base to work with when we go in with some more precise brushes later. So I'll usually next either go in with the Sigma E25 blending brush or the Morphe M433. They're pretty similar. Um, the Morphe one's just a little bit bigger and fluffier. So I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm just gonna really get in that crease. Because my eyes are deep set and a little hooded, I like to go with with smaller brushes in the crease so that I can kind of have a little bit more control of where I'm placing the color. All right, and then I'll go back in with the Morphe M441 and just kind of blend out those edges. I'm gonna use this Morphe M506. It's a super small tapered blending brush. And then I'm just gonna go in that crease and get even more precise with the color placement. The key to blending is to just keep going back in with those brushes and kind of smoothing out the edges. And then to pack color on the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M321. It's good for deepening that outer corner. Then I have these two flat brushes that I really like whenever I'm using shadows on the lid. So this one um, is just a Morphe No Name brush. I like to use this with concealer, like if I'm doing a cut crease, I like to blend the concealer in with this one or um, use this for any like wet shadows. Like if I wanna spray my brush with like a setting spray and then dip into a shimmery color and put that on the lid. But if I'm just going in with a shimmery color, I like to use, this is also a Morphe No Name brush. Um, I like to go in with this one and just blend it all over the lid. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this color on my brush. Oh, that's a little leaving me wanting. Oh, the fallout on that is ridiculous. Take two, we're gonna use a different shadow. So I'll just take the shimmer on that. For under the eye, um, to really get in there, I use this Morphe M432 brush. It's just a flat brush um, that you can really get close to that lash line. I will go back in with the M506. And then go in with the Sigma E25 and just soften that. And then the M441 to just kind of bring everything together. And to highlight the inner corner, I'm gonna use this Sigma Pencil E30 brush. So I just grab a little bit of a highlight and just tuck it right in that inner corner. 
And I'm just gonna curl my lashes, throw on some mascara and lip gloss, and we are good to go. So those are just a few of the brushes that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, those aren't all of my brushes, but those are some of my favorites. And I feel like with those brushes, you can really do so many different things. If you have any brushes that you think I should try, any brands that you love, that you swear by, let your girl know, because I'm always looking for new brushes. And that's actually not true, because if I was, then I'd be using different brushes. I'm in the market to try some new brushes. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to let your girl know down in the comments. I would really appreciate that. Um, or you can send me a message, whatever, whatever, whatever works best for you. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Um, come hang out with me on Instagram. That's normally where I am, but I'm trying to, you know, dip my little toesies, my little feetsies in the water with YouTube. So hopefully we'll have some more videos soon. If there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. As always, thank you for hanging out with me and we will see each other when we see each other next. Most likely on Instagram. We'll see each other again soon on YouTube. Okay, love y'all so much. Oh, 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 there's a cat here in the eye always, 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 always.